Monday the 21st of March and um, let's have a look at what we've got today. We've got just um, 10 orders on Bricklink and nothing uh, super special there at all. Uh, not particularly large orders. Then on uh, Brick Owl we've got another 10 and a similar story there, all fairly average uh, in terms of size and and value and then on ebay we've got another six so that's uh, 26 orders to get picked and packed and um get into the post so better get cracking so let's have a quick look at the um ebay related orders that we've gotten today there's only uh, a few of them and the first one is a Hulk uh, minifigure from one of the junior sets. And uh, apparently this is for somebody's uh, uh, birthday cake to go on the top of that. So they're hoping to get that pretty sharpish. Then we've got one of the Nexor Knights uh, sets. This is uh, Aaron. And uh, this is going off to Germany uh, via eBay uh, global shipping program. Then we've got uh, three of the uh, packs of, of figures from the Harry Potter advent calendar from uh, uh, this past Christmas. And uh, then we've got a um, Sensei Wu or Master Wu from uh, Ninjago and that was from set. 71767 which is one of the newer uh, Ninjago sets uh, going out as well so I'll just get these uh, packed up and get on to the Bricklink and Brickown orders. So I'm just packing orders and thought I'd just show you a quick uh, run through of a few of the smaller orders that I've got uh, to pack this morning. So here's one uh, for some uh, yellow parts. I think these typically come out of uh, speed champions and things, so I'm not sure if that's where they're going to be used, but um, that's, I think, where they came from. Um, we've got a Batgirl minifigure. Now, I think this is from the Dimension set, and it's got a yellow uh, Batarang with it in there as well. Uh, few very few uh, random uh, parts there and this one's an interesting one because we've got a uh, I think it's gizmo isn't it uh, this is a gizmo head from one of the uh, dimension sets and um, that figure um, is quite an expensive figure I think so I assume somebody's completing that then we've got a Wolverine minifigure, which is a, a decent uh, figure at uh, just over 10 quid. And there's a, a set of claws to go with him there. Then we've got uh, a couple of dark grey uh, classic uh, castle helmets. And then we've got a selection of uh, minifig parts and accessories here. So just going to get those packed up and get on with some of the bigger orders. So we've just picked up a few bonus orders for the morning and uh, first one up is this order uh, for some Harry Potter instruction books, a sticker, a Harry Potter figure and a few bits and pieces. And then we've got a more general order for lots of white uh, bricks and plates and some of these uh, little flowers. And then from eBay, we've got um, this set going out, which is 41230. This is the Batgirl uh, Batjet Chase, and it's with the Batgirl Mini Doll in there, and that's sold for about £35. So I'm going to get these packed up, and then I am uh, done for the morning, and I'm going to be turning my attention. To this box uh, which I'll, I'll show you in a moment and uh, I'm pretty desperate to get to this. So all the orders are now packed and have all of the labels on and are just ready to go to the post office and now it's uh, just about time for me to get to this box that I said that I'm uh, pretty desperate to get to and this is uh, what I'm going to be uh, uh, giving for the rest of the day so let's just open this up and see what we got and it is Ooh, I can get it out it's a bit heavier than 
I uh, anticipated at least with one finger. So this is my new uh, Mac Studio that I ordered. I think I mentioned it on the on the blog when I was watching the Apple event. I ordered uh, very quickly um, after they were announced on the um, uh, uh, after the Apple event, and um, still got it sort of a day late. I've been tracking this for for days, to be honest. Like literally checking every like hour or so to see if it had moved because it started out in uh, in china in in shenzhen and um seemed to take an awful lot of time before it moved it all but once it started to move after a couple of days it all just got here so so quickly now the monitor isn't here at the moment which is a little bit of a pain um but because i have a setup with a second monitor my plan is i'm gonna set the uh, mac studio up using the second monitor and um that'll allow me the time to get it all set up uh, get everything installed on it uh, before the monitor gets here and then i'm going to reorganize my desk uh, completely and uh, that'll be a fun project for later in the week so can't wait to get this opened and get playing with it. Well, it's a, a really quiet day again today, and uh, I've only had, I think, seven orders across Bricklink and Brickowl, and uh, also these two orders from eBay. Uh, these are just a, a couple of minifigs. Obviously, that's the, the majority of what I'm selling on, on eBay. Uh, but this is just a, a Hero um, J minifigure. And then we've got an electro uh, suit uh, Batman. And this is getting towards the last of a bunch of these that I bought. Oh, I don't know how long ago now, probably a, a year or two back. Um, maybe more than two years actually. And I bought about a hundred of these uh, or so for about 70p each. Uh, which was a real bargain at the time. And at the time, they were selling for about seven quid on um, on Bricklink. And I managed to sell, I think, 20 of them at seven pounds or something to someone in South Korea. And um, the rest of them have just been trickling out at a, a, a lower amount at around sort of four pounds or so. Um, so not many of those left now, just uh, probably six or seven of those left. Um, I'm continuing to just sort of um, put away various uh, parts that I've already got um, sorted and bagged up various sort of bags here that I'm, I'm just working through and little bits of pots uh, all over the place, mainly uh, sort of technique related stuff at the moment um and of course i'm trying to spend a little bit of time still setting up the mac studio um which is uh all good but i do think sales are suffering a little bit probably because i'm not adding huge volumes to the store um and uh that's mainly because I've not been buying new sets. When I, when I buy new sets across, you're buying, you know, in a reasonable amount and you very quickly upload five, 10,000 parts. I find that adding the um, the U stuff is just so much uh, slower and, and much less value. And it may be that I'm paying a price for that. Um, I'm also still um not as focused as i should be on ebay i need to really need to get back in, into that but i've had so many distractions lately with various things going on uh personally and uh and with feeling a bit under the weather as well and so um just a case of soldiering on um do a bit here and there and um hopefully get things moving So I've just stumbled across this bunch of Minecraft uh, figures and characters, uh, whatever you want to call these things, and um, uh, I'm just going to upload them uh, to the store. But it it's, um, always amazes me, you know, what you find hidden away in little drawers and little nooks and crannies that you put somewhere once upon a time and 
and tend to forget about them. It's very easily done. Uh, at least I find that with with this business because you, you just end up with tubs and pots of things all over the place. So um, I'm not sure how much values in these. Um, these in theory are good value, but they don't seem to move, which tends to indicate they're overpriced, so I guess, or there's just very low demand for them. Um, but I'll get them listed anyway. And um, it, if nothing else, it adds more lots to the store. So we've just added to the store um, one of each of the first Harry Potter series collectible minifigures. And there were quite a lot in this because it had the Fantastic Beasts uh, set in there as well. And I'm quite surprised that just how good the value is on some of these um, figures. I still need to sort of check them out um, properly for, for, for the prices, but things like um, this one here is uh, a real good value. Um, and then of course, we've got the one that was always hard to find um, in the set at the time and everyone was hunting for that because there was only one of them in uh, each box. Um, so there's uh, some great figures in here. Another another one there that goes for quite a bit. They all actually fetch a really good value, I think now, except for one or two of them, which are, are only around the three or four pounds mark. But others, are, you know, um, really um, quite good value. It is Wednesday the 23rd, and it's another really quiet day. Um, there's no orders at all on Bricklink and only three orders on Brickal. And I uh, have got a few eBay ones as well to, to do, but um, not a great amount. Um, this is one order that's going out uh, to the US, which is four of the Simpsons figures that are listed uh, recently. So um, as always, good to see things moving that you add into the store. Um, I've got another uh, order here to pick. Uh, on Brick Owl for about 30 something lots um, but then that's it for today um, so I don't know why it's so quiet I'm hoping that when we get to the weekend things will pick up with uh, people getting paid for the end of the month but I just think you know everything seems to be biting with cost of living increases the effects on petrol with the with the war in Ukraine etc um, it is what it is and um, we just keep going and we keep adding things to the store and um, hopefully um, things start to pick up again. So we've picked up a few more smallish uh, bonus orders. Uh, here's the first one which is for 280 of these uh, tyres, some gears there, axles and another type of gear there as well. Um, on eBay, we have got a Doctor Strange going out, and on Bricklink, we've got a Darth Maul uh, figure, and another order for some various uh, parts. So, um, orders from each of the marketplaces, but nothing significant, nothing huge, um, you know, so we're still... We're still pretty pretty slow, I think, uh, for um, the this well, this time of year, uh, this time of the month. Um, I would have thought that some people would have been paid by now and would be placing a few more orders. Maybe it's just because I haven't been adding an awful lot. I am in the middle at of, at the moment of sorting through um, minifigure parts to list. Uh, so I've got lots and lots of um, leg assemblies uh, here, lots of accessories to go through, and I've got more bags and things uh, to add to this as well. Lots of various um, headgear, uh, some heads uh, to go in, and then over here is where, well, it's a bit of a shambles now, but I have been sorting out and listing a bunch of uh, torsos, and getting them put away so stuff all over the place at the moment <laughs> bit of a bit of a nightmare need to get tidied up 
um, but I'm um, going to plough on and get some more of this stuff listed um, before the end of the day and before I tidy up. Well, I'd no sooner packed up the other orders and then got another little bonus order in. And uh, this one's not bad at all, about 30 quid's worth. Um, and I like it in particular because it it's bought out a lot of um, things that just don't move often. Um, namely, these uh, colours in, in these round bricks here. And then especially these ones uh, here in the teal and with the sort of barbs on the side as well so uh nice little order and uh, that'll be getting straight out it's thursday the 24th of march uh today and we've got 10 orders in uh this morning across each of the platforms so i've got them all picked and i just thought i'd walk you through what we've got none of them are very uh large at all um but i'll walk you through them so Here's the first one on uh, Brick Owl. Um, we've got a, a, a helicopter uh, hull here and some other parts, and that's going out to the US. Um, next up, we've got an uh, instruction booklet for the trolls and a Cinderella um, minifigure or mini doll. And then we've got some random uh, used and new parts, a couple of torsos, some legs in there, at this odd uh, Duplo fence piece, um, which is odd, I hope you realise how large that is. Uh, next up, we've got a, a rather basic Harry Potter uh, figure, um, which is going off to Norway, um, which is an interesting one. And then next up, um, we've just got a small order for a few uh, used pieces, uh, new and used. Then we've got what is actually the largest order of the day in terms of uh, lot count. I uh, can't remember exactly how many lots there are there, but uh, not a significant number. Another small order for various parts. And another order. Now, this this one is uh, interesting in that this is a small order and it's not a huge value. But if you look at these parts, and these are these are really sort of tiny parts in the in there. Those dark orange ones are sixty p each, and the white bricks nearly ninety pence each, which isn't bad for these uh, small parts. And then these orange ones here are um, about 28 pence. Now, all of those parts came out of the Minecraft uh, set that was the Fox House. And that's one of the reasons I bought it because those um, those um, dark orange parts in particular, I think, are the only set that that comes in. So um, worth having if you can get a lot of them, maybe. Um, next up is um, a uh grief cargo minifigure so this is a, a star wars minifigure and um the person who's bought this actually reached out to me um via ebay messaging and actually mentioned that they found my channel were enjoying the vlogs and that they're uh, um really hoping to get uh you know um increasing their their brick sales and and ideally looking to be full-time in in lego but uh we'll see um next up um is a naya figure and i've just spotted that this is going to australia so i assume that's going through the global shipping program um is it uh i oh, know maybe it looks like they've paid postage separately have they there so they've paid 29 pounds for this figure which is incredible um so yeah uh, and then next up we have got a river a mini doll um from one of the the friends sets and um that's the last of these there's 10 in total and so i'm just going to get these all um parceled up and bagged up and then i'm going to get on sorting some more used lego so I've decided to tackle some accessories today. Uh, I've got a few tubs 
uh, here and I've already got some um, sort of pre-sorted into categories elsewhere as well. Uh, so I'm just going through these, categorising them to add to the other batches and then I'll go through them in bulk. So we've got all sorts here, sort of Star Wars, guns, weapons, bits of uh, food, animals, spears, um, some shields uh, and things and uh, any little bits of printed stuff. Um, I've got a mass of printed stuff somewhere else. I'm just putting um, printed things to, to one side. So um, it can be amazing um, how much some of these small accessories will amount to. Um, you know, a little shield, a little helmet. I mean, here's a, a hat, for instance, from the, the graduate uh, minifigure. So I imagine that will um be worth a, a a pound or two i would have thought um but we'll see you know um sorting through them gonna get as much uploaded today as i can and uh, we'll see how we do with it so it's friday the 25th of march uh this morning and we're a little uh, better um five orders on uh bricklink and we've got three orders on Brick Owl and then we have got two on eBay. So um, I'm going to go and get those uh, picked and packed. Um, I have had a little bit of a change around um, on the desk. Um, so we've got the Mac Studio in place. I'm not. I'm. I'm still using the old iMac at the side here while I transfer um, stuff across uh, to the Mac Studio. Still, um, still waiting on the display uh, to arrive, and that's um, still about a week away. Uh, I think at the moment, so I can't wait to get that because. Um, although this uh, monitor is okay, I'm really noticing the difference between having the 5K display and using the, the 4K as a main screen. Um, so hopefully um, that week's going to fly by and the monitor will get here um, pretty damn quick. But I'm uh, loving the speed and the performance of everything I do at the moment. You know, every, every click, every screen just seems so so quick in comparison to my old iMac so really enjoying that okay so i'm gonna go through this morning's orders in the same way that i've been doing earlier this week i've got them all picked and just ready to pack and get off so uh first couple are ebay orders for uh, a pixel a ninjago pixel minifigure second one is a carbon copy another um pixel minifigure going out third order is for a uh, brick owl and it's uh, a toy story 4 instruction book a chewbacca minifigure and some other random uh, parts another brick owl order here for a uh, very uh, few parts just three parts in that order next one up is an ebay order for an exonites uh, sealed set and this is a buildable uh, clay uh, figure. Uh, next one up, we've got a Captain Carter uh, minifigure from the Marvel Studios collectible minifigure series. And then a bunch of hair pieces and um, Captain America style uh, tiles there. Next one up, a uh, brick owl order for just lots of various um, pieces. This was actually the um, largest lot count of all of the orders today. Um, but the importance of this, and when you're getting uh, orders in, as as we all know, of course, so I'm not I'm not teaching you anything you don't know here. But um, just because this is the highest lot count doesn't make it anywhere near the highest value. Um, it might take the longest to pick even, but it doesn't mean it's the most expensive or, or um, you know, bringing you the, the highest profit or anything. So um, you really can't judge the orders by um, the size and the time they're taking. So, for instance, those Pixel minifigures 
sold for twice as much each as as this was going pretty much or not far off at least so um you can't judge an order by its contents necessarily um next one up is another bricklink order um with a sticker sheet uh used a ninjago figure and a few bits and pieces in there next one up is the next uh largest order i think um and this was a bunch of um loads of parts uh some uh used some new uh, just lots and lots of random parts there uh next one up is a bricklink order three used minifigures couple of the disney uh collectible minifigure series so we've got a scrooge mcduck there and a, a edna nord and um, some of the sand green uh, parts there as well. And then the uh, last one for this morning so far was probably the highest value, actually, I would imagine, um, was lots and lots of um, tan uh, parts going out. And that's it for this morning so far. Um, we may get a few more orders in as the day progresses, we usually do on a on a Friday, but um, we'll see how we go. Plenty of other things to do. I'm still working through uh, my list of accessories and getting them priced from yesterday. They turned out to be a real good um, sort and generated um, quite a bit of value um, to go into the store. So uh, that's good. And they tend to attract people as well. So I'm hoping to get those uh, finished up with the pricing and get them uploaded today ready for people uh, who may want some of the things for the weekend so as expected we just picked up another bonus order this is 129 items in about 57 lots and there's a whole bunch of um just random uh parts in here a mix of new and used uh they did pick up a few um animals i think that's the new ones in there there's a few if you can see them with a little rat in there and a, a little dog as well so um a nice little order uh on a friday to to get out the door um about 20 odd quids worth but um every order um is appreciated no matter what the size or what the value just keep them coming mm -hmm. 